on today's episode. Such a great portfolio that you can sure steal some ideas from it. What's up and welcome to another segment of Designer Mind where I share some insights around design, reviews, case studies, and on today's episode, this is actually a portfolio of a student from my Webflow Masterclass. And when I saw this portfolio, I was actually blown away because he did so many smart things that so many designers don't do that I think that you can really learn a lot from taking a close look at what Sebastian did. So let's take a look at the website. So this is basically the intro to Sebastian's uh, website. Kind of on the first few, it looks like a startup, kind of a tech company because of this type of illustration and animation, which I like because I think that if this is kind of, it might be his uh, core audience, then this is a great fit. And the first thing that I really notice here is the logos that you have here down below, which is such an important thing to create trust in yourself as you know, as a freelancer. You want to make sure that you, the people who are watching this, know that you know your stuff and you've already had some great experience. And putting logos of companies that you know, such really great logos, is very, very kind of trustworthy thing. Now, now, one more thing that a lot of people forget is the call to action. And Sebastian has here two call to action. This one is actually to uh, his Calendly, which he's um, prompting you to get a, on a call with him, which is such a great thing. Uh, not only many designers don't even put their email on their portfolio, but he's kind of like skipping a step in the, the, the funnel of getting new clients and he's trying to get in touch with them and get them on a call as fast as possible, which is really, really smart. Then and he's also allowing them to download a PDF of his portfolio, which is also a smart thing because they might want to take away something. I know that when I'm reviewing portfolios, I always file them and I want to have a reminder of who I was looking at. So this is also a great thing to do. Now, when you start to scroll down, the first thing that you see is kind of actually reminds me of Amazon. And this is kind of reviews ratings from his clients. And this is from a website called Malt, which is actually kind of a French um, freelance website so his client gave him really good ratings and he put them right here um, also creates very high trust um, then we go into kind of the portfolio itself um, really nice art direction here um, really nice kind of like subtle uh, parallax interaction when you're going on here um, again call to action to schedule a meeting repeats itself um, some nice animations here so you can see his design also really nice design but um, we're talking about the structure of the website then he's talking about his capability for storytelling and then mentioning his kind of like methodology which i think is very very important showing people that he has a process for getting things done he's not only somebody who can make things and again really nice subtle interactions but um, you know, showing people that he's not only making things pretty, but he actually has a process for this. He's also um, compatible. You know, he also can do design sprints for you. Again, really nice animations going around here. So this is really nice. Now, right here again, super super smart. A carousel of testimonials. This is you might think this is a bit salesy, but this is so important because honestly, most clients see this and uh, get more trust from this than seeing you know an image of a work that you did where they are like they might not really understand design so they don't know is this good design or bad design but reading about other people's experience is so so strong then he's ending up with kind of like links to his um to his social networks which is also great his address and so overall i think this is really really an amazing website which you should take away a lot of it especially how he creates trust and the, the clear call to action um, so th this is why I really really love it now um, let me get to some things which I think can be improved here so first of all and I told this Sebastian as well I don't get to see who he is like I would really love to see kind of an about page or a photo and actually Sebastian actually created a really nice video about himself but he didn't want to put it here I don't know why he wasn't comfortable about talking to himself but I would I always look to see who's the person behind this like and, and a visual really helps 
One more thing that I think would make this a, an even better website is kind of a, like a deeper dive or a case study around those projects, which they look amazing. I mean, they look really, really good. And it, it I would give them a call to see more, but um, I would love it if I could dig deep into seeing the project, seeing some of the process, take a little deeper kind of a look into it. Um, and also here at the end, I find it kind of weird that there is no email um, because this is how I usually get in touch with people. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I don't want to get on a, a on a call on a calendar, I just want to ask a quick question. An email would be helpful, and an email does not appear anywhere at all here. But basically, you know. Uh, those things can be improved but overall i think this is one of the best portfolios that i've ever seen and i'm not even talking about the fact that it's really nicely designed the interactions really really help um, just thinking about this as obviously your portfolio is a sales tool for you and so he put a lot of things here that help him sell and also shows me as a client or as a, somebody who might hire him that he understands you know the psychology of how to sell which is something that is very very important because you know your clients usually hire you to help them sell if you know how to sell yourself um, then you'll probably be able to help them sell whatever it is that they are selling so I think many ideas here that you can probably take away to improve your own portfolio now as I said in the beginning Sebastian is a student in my webflow masterclass and built this really nice website responsive website as you can see really nice smooth interactions if you want to be able to do that yourself to build your portfolio and build your client site like this pretty easily actually on webflow there's nothing really complicated into building this website which looks amazing Check the link in the description and check my Webflow Masterclass. You might find that relevant for you. And I'll see you on the next video.